how to build beautiful UI fast and effective hello guys today I want to share with you a few resources that will allow you to build stuff that looks beautiful um, for many years I kind of overlooked the beautiful aspect of things uh, I coming from a background of e-commerce and direct response marketing in these type of initiatives the only thing that matters is the conversion rates and convincing customers to buy and very often there is a inverse correlation between between how beautiful a page is and the conversion rates so meaning ugly pages and ugly ads very often convert better but in the recent years or even months i feel that branding is becoming more important positioning and also how things look and one thing that I've encountered, and I guess that many of you have encountered this as well, especially if you don't come from a technical background, is even if you use Claude Sonnet for writing code and you create some very simple solution or software, it usually looks pretty ugly. And this is why I wanted to create this video with a few resources that I found. So first of all, um, these are the resources which we will cover today. You, if you've followed a, any AI news, you probably encountered already V0, which is a new solution by Vercel. But let's go over them one by one. So first of all, ShadCN is a library that allows you to basically choose different components and just add them to your code. You can go to the website over here it's a very a very famous and, and popular library. You can check it out in their GitHub. They have 68,000 stars on GitHub, so pretty popular. So over here, you can just come here and you, you select whichever component that you would like, button, calendar, whatever, and then you can just copy the code and make any adjustments that you would like. Obviously, you need to install this. Um, Everything is written down clearly in the installation, in their documentation. But let me just show you a few examples. So you have avatars, badges, date pickers, dialog boxes, drawers, drop-down menus, forms, navigation bars, etc. So this is ShadCN. The next alternative is Magic UI, which is also a very cool GitHub repository. It also has I mean, it has 8,000 stars, which is not as many as ShadCN has, but it's also pretty decent. And they have also beautiful components, which you can see examples over here. So animated beams like this, meteors, many type of, of uh, animations, stuff like this. So all you have to do is just copy and paste the code. Now, obviously, you can use V0, which is a solution by Vercel that basically builds beautiful front end. Can you create a front end? The web app is for taking notes similar to Trello. This is like, this is becoming the new, the new go-to example. Instead of snake games, everybody is asking to create a, a to-do, taking notes app. So I'm, I'm also trying to surf this trend. So using V0, V0 um, is a solution by Vercel. The first few iterations are free. After a while, you need to pay 20 bucks per month. You can see here, they are using the ShadCN library, and you can see how beautiful this is already. The good thing about V0, it also builds uh, the backend, so the whole it can build the whole code base, which is pretty cool. And the downside of this, in opposing to, let's say, using CloudDev or a coding AI coding assistant, it doesn't, it isn't so fast because you still need to copy and paste the files into your Visual Studio code, and it doesn't make adjustments to the file uh, locally. So it is a bit clunky. The good thing about this is the fact that it allows you to build 
uh, beautiful stuff and you can see the previews very easily. So this is V0. And another solution that I stumbled upon, and this is actually a solution that I stumbled upon in the CloudDev Discord channel. It's called WindAI. Wind AI. And this is similar, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's like V0, but it allows you to build a very beautiful front end. This is, uh, you can see over here what other people have built already. This is something that I have built. I just gave it a very simple prompt, um, asking it to create a, a prompt saving solution, which by the way, I, if you follow me for a while now, you already know that I've built this Chrome extension for myself, but now since it's pretty ugly, I'm trying to uh, make it look better. So I basically gave it a very simple show, uh, prompt, help me create a beautiful UI of a prompt saving software User must be able to add prompts, then save them. Then they could, should be able to edit, delete, or copy each prompt. When they copy a prompt, it adds the usage number down here. And they should be able to search for prompts by tags or by the content of the prompt. And they should be able to sort by usage, the date that the prompt was added, and alphabetically. So this is what I asked it to create. Now you can add, this is like the, the second iteration. If I want to add something, I can just add this. Add an animated, let's see if it works, headline. And also add a summary of how many prompts do I have, plus a short trend line, a small trend line. I'm just making this up, trend line of daily use of prompts. So let's just hit the send button. It's going to generate this. Now this generates only the front end. And I'll show you in a moment what you can do after you have the front end. But the benefits of this is, first of all, it is free. Second of all, uh, it builds stuff that looks really great. And once you have the code, you can then move on and use Claude or Claude or whatever you would like. So you can see it added the total prompts, your AI prompt management solution, and it added, besides this, it didn't add anything, but basically it added what I asked it to add. Now I can come over here, copy the whole code, oh click that button or just copy Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then you can come to Claude and tell it help me build the functioning web app for this code. Obviously, it's better to, to write a, a, a more detailed prompt, but this is just for the sake of example example and showing you it seems stuck now but let's see what's wrong it also crashed for me before i don't know why but i had more instance instances that it did work than instances that it didn't work so i still recommend this instead of pausing the video and wasting time let's go back to a test that i did so before, so I just took the code and I told it build the functioning app for this code and then it created the prompt saver, which is actually functioning. Test, as you can see it added the test. When I hit the delete button, it deletes the button. Test two, YB, just I wanna show you the searching feature. So when I hit YB, it, it sorts out the, the the prompts and you can obviously sort by usage and edit and delete. Anyway, uh, obviously you still need to connect it to the backend um, and to the database, but using Claude or ideally if you're using Claude Dev, you can start iterating. So how I'm envisioning the workflow at the moment is first of all, obviously coming up with an idea thinking about the tech stack and then 
probably using v0 or wind ai just to create the front end a few um pages of the front end and then probably moving to cloud making a few iterations then moving to cloud dev and really diving into the things and trying to to build something functioning connecting to the back end and connecting to the server but whenever i've used cloud dev from the get-go unless you really give it instructions regarding using shad cn or magic ui um, you need to iterate to make iterations afterwards in order to make the front end beautiful so i'm going to test out this workflow in which i build a, a beautiful front end first and then i'm trying to connect uh, the dots connecting the server the database and connecting the backend anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you found it useful if you have any questions suggestions please leave them in the comment section below obviously if you didn't like the video and you haven't subscribed yet please do and i guess that's it for today i will leave the links in the in the video description and until next time keep on automating